Hi, I'm Ari, Technical Support Specialist here at SpectraFlow. Today I'll be demonstrating the process of backing up and restoring your system configuration and your environments within EFI Fire EXF. I'm going to start with backing up and restoring my system configuration. A system configuration backs up the Fire EXF server configuration, all user settings, all printer setups, all workflow settings, including workspaces, selected presets, base linearization files, spot color tables, and profiles. To back up a system configuration, go to System Manager. On the File menu, click Backup. Select the check boxes of the items you want to back up. The server configuration is saved by default. Then define your backup location. Name your file. Then click Save. A dialog box appears when the backup has been successfully saved. Then click OK to complete the backup procedure. So now let's go ahead and restore the system configuration that we just backed up. I'm going to head up here and delete the workflow because we're going to be bringing in our saved version of that. And now the first step to restoring your system configuration is going to the file menu and selecting restore. The restore dialog box appears. It displays the contents of the backup folder. Select the backup file and click OK. A dialog box appears when the backup has been successfully restored. However, in order to view your restored system configuration, you need to restart the server. Go ahead and right click on the Fiery XF controller icon and select Fiery XF Server Restart. The server will then restart itself, which does typically take a couple of minutes to complete fully. A dialog box will then appear stating the connection to the server has been interrupted. You'll have the option to re-log in or exit. I'm obviously going to re-log in as I want to see my restored system configuration. And ah, look at that. My workflow just reappeared and all my settings are back as well. Well, there you have it, folks. Our system configuration has indeed been restored. Now we'll move on to environment backup and restore. An environment saves all workflow settings, basically everything that the system configuration saves, except for the server configuration and the user settings. I bet you're wondering, why should I save my environments if they're included in the main system backup? Now that's a great question. There are a few reasons why you'd want to save your environments even though you just did a full backup. Number one, a system configuration backup doesn't always work if restoring to a new operating system. Number two, there may be some incompatibilities when restoring to a new version of Fiery. And finally, it's insurance against anything going wrong with the main backup. So as you can see, we've got two workflows, workflow one and workflow two, and two output devices, one connected to each. So we're gonna save both workflows and in order to do that, you right click on the workflow. Or you can also go to the file menu and choose Save as Environment under the file menu. So I'm going to go back to workflow one, right click on it, select Save as Environment. Then you need to choose your destination. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop. Going to name it SpectraFlow Environments. And you can rename it if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save and Save again. And it's been saved. Now I'm going to repeat the same process with workflow number two. Select the destination. It's already 
in the SpectraFlow Environments folder. That's already been selected. I'm going to hit Save, and I'm going to select OK. Both environments have now been saved. I'm now, for the purposes of this demonstration, going to delete both workflows. I'm also going to delete both output devices. And number two, delete. So now let's restore both environments. I'm going to go to Import Environment under the File menu and select Workflow 1. Select OK, and the workflow has been restored along with the output device. I'm going to do the second one now, Import Environment, Workflow 2, and there you go. Both environments have been restored. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.